All right, so topic one, graphing inequalities. This is chapter five, topic one. Um, so like graphing on a number line, we're going to graph inequalities. But since it's an inequality, um, there's more than one number that satisfies any inequality. If it is a symbol like this, that's going to be an open circle, which is just not filled in. It means you don't include the very end number. And then this kind, like this, will be a closed circle. So this includes the end number. And this is everything right up to the end number, but not including. So x is greater than 2. This symbol, see how this is the bigger side, and this is the smaller side? The bigger side points towards the bigger thing. So it says x has to be bigger than 2, or x is greater than 2. So put a circle at 2. It's an open circle, and this points that way. Every number bigger than 2. 2.1, 2 2.5, 3, 10, a million, all the ones bigger than 2. B is greater than or equal to 1. That would be closed circle at 1. And all the numbers bigger point that way. All right, now notice that this arrow points this way, and this arrow head points that way. That always happens if the variable is on the left. So the uh, inequality always points in the direction of the arrow, in the direction of the graph. of this thing when the variable is on the left. Okay, so only when the variable is on the left. Right, let's make that a little bit more out of the way. Alright, so now let's try a couple more of these. So z is less than or equal to 3. So open, or no, not or equal to, just less than. Open circle at 3, uh, nice line, that way. A is less than or equal to 6, the variable is on the left, so you already know it's going to point this way. So 6 would be here, closed circle, so we include 6, and it points that way. So if we had one that looked like A6 um, is greater than or equal to A, this is the same graph, right? A is smaller, A is smaller, 6 is bigger, 6 is bigger. But notice that this doesn't point the same direction. That's because the variable is on the right, so the variable has to be on the left. So here's your U try. And just a couple quick. One's more. So here's really what we want to do is solve inequalities. So these are by addition and subtraction. So simply solve it just like you would an equation. Plus 8, that gives me x is less than or equal to negative 6 plus 8 is 2. So 2, and I like to put a 0 on there for reference, and x less than. Here, add 6, I don't, my bad. Add 8 to both sides because we want to get the variable alone, and that gives us 2 is greater than m. So I like to just rewrite them with a variable on the left all the time. So I switch sides, but see how the small end is pointing at the m? Got to have the small end pointing at the m. So m is less than 2. That's going to be an open circle, arrow left. A couple quick more examples. So we've got x is greater than negative 8. So negative 8 is here open circle greater than minus 8 minus 8 minus 6 is greater than a so a has to be smaller than minus 6 alright there's 0 um, so we're gonna open circle at negative 6 and point this way or if you want to rewrite it with the variable on the left it's pointing at the A, so it's got a point at the A, so we know our arrowhead goes that way. And then a couple more, just translating, kind of like what we did in Chapter 1, translate this, only now it's to an inequality rather than an equation. So the sum, that means add, of a number and 8. So x plus 8 
is less than 12, less than 12, piece of cake. So solve it, and we get x is less than 4, and we're going to get, uh, there's the 4, x is everything less than 4. So let me just quickly throw down a couple number lines here. Wonderful. All right, so 40 is no greater than. If it's not greater, that means it has to be less than or potentially equal to, but not more than. The difference of, so that's subtraction, a number and 2. So x minus 2. Solve that. And we got 42 is less than or equal to x. 42, uh, zeros over here. X is greater than or equal to 42. I like to write it like this. Greater than or equal to. So, open, uh, close circle, point to the right. A number decreased by 4. So a number decreased by, that's going to be minus, minus 4, is less than, piece of cake, 14. Add 4 to both sides, and we get x is less than 18. So open circle, and we want it to be less than. And the last one, sum of a number in 6, so x plus 6 is greater than or equal to. So that's going to be this, uh, negative 4. So minus 6, minus 6, and that gives us x is greater than or equal to negative 10. And that's going to be a closed circle, and we're going to be pointing to the right. So again, with the variable on the left, the inequality always points in the same direction as your arrowhead. When it's on the left, please don't screw that up. All right, I think you got uh, you try to do for those, and I'll see you next class.